that come in, the door is not locked. <clears throat> oh, Bradivy, that was you. Uh uh. Why is everybody in Ibadan? Have your seat. Have your seat. I felt I should drop in and ask after uh, the welfare of everyone. Um, I'm passing my mom's message to you. Eh, hey, Mama. As I learned, your husband is in town. Yes, he is, but he's sleeping. He will be leaving for his station later today. Um, I would like to pass on Mama's message to you. She's happy now that your husband is known in the family, but uh, she will want both of you to solemnize the union and live together as husband and wife. Mama should be patient with us. We are working on that, and everything will be all right. So why is it bad now that Ooh, I'm not more dead? Anyway, exchange is no robbery. I move out of Ibadan, you move in. So is everybody. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> thank God. Uh, I've started the work of God in one of the churches in Ibadan. Hey, good. I know you are committed to God's work. This is a season of greatness. You are blessed. Uh, you know the good news? My pastor is very nice. He accepted me immediately and got there. Yeah, and darling. Oh, darling. Brother David, meet my husband. Oh, it is well with. You know each other? Looks like. Ah, uh, uh, no, we have never met. I'm very sure. Yes, I'm very sure. Oh, my baby. Yeah. I hope you have prayed very well concerning your wedding. Yes, right, sir. sir. Mm, so the Lord has set this, the date aside and um, it's going to be worthwhile in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's have a word in prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, your children have come to your presence and they are going to be married in a few weeks. Lord Almighty, plan ahead for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. At the end of everything, let your name be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. Go in peace, okay? And come for the Bible study tomorrow. Make sure you're there. God bless you. Yes. Sir, Pastor, that sermon was a powerful one, sir. Oh, well, that's... Shepherd loaded. I enjoy the preaching a lot, sir. <laughs> that is how I normally dish it out of them. See, um, you see, we call it a fizzy. It is not by your might, sir. All the glory belongs to God. <laughs> well, all glory, all glory to him. Ah, uh, well. Uh, sir, um, my name is David Daniel. I just moved in recently from Kaduna, and um, ever since I've been attending your church, because I live nearby. I see. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, you're welcome. But, sir, um, I was a worker in my church in Kaduna, and I okay. uh, would like to continue here as well. That shouldn't be any problem. Uh, maybe you'll have to see me later. I'll Thank introduce you, you to the elders and they'll fix you up. Thank you very much. Okay. The elders are waiting for you. Oh, darling. Uh, well, we'll go and meet them soon. This is, is this uh, madam? Yes, this is madam. This is my wife. This is brother David. Oh, nice meeting you. Um, he was a worker in the church in Kaduna, but he has oh. just joined us. Okay. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. So, I intend introducing him to the elders later. Okay. So, we'll handle this case, okay? okay. Thank so, you we'll see you, Brother David. Nice meeting you. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Are you not the young man who just joined my church at Ibadan? This is supposed to be a secret between you and I. Between I and Tenny, we have kept a secret. Okay. Don't let my wife hear this. Don't let anyone know. Is that clear? Okay. It's okay. Well, David. Are you okay? Ah, um, it's nothing really. Um, it's just that uh, I remember that I must be in a meeting in Badon. You look um, as if you've seen a ghost. Uh, I think I must have my leave now. Ah, uh, just now? Wait, now let me prepare something for you to eat. Thank you very much. No, he's much. in a hurry. Let him go. <laughs> Thank you okay. very much. All right, all right. Thank so, you. Okay, okay. Bye bye. You. Okay. something bothering my mind. Your mind? <sighs> Is there any problem too big for Christ to tackle? Out with it. Well, you know very well that we've been friends for quite some time now. And uh, this is known to members of the church even before you became a pastor. 
and nothing can take that away from us. The relationship is still as intact as ever. You know, I have this kind of confidence in you. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. Actually, what I have to say has to do with uh, gossip going about in the church. It actually started as uh, little murmurings, but later I grew louder and louder in the church. I heard you have a woman outside matrimony. <laughs> <laughs> and you believe that? What can people say out of jealousy? It's not true. It's a bogus lie. <laughs> well, I know there can't be smoke without fire. But all, all I just want is that, that you be careful, please. Watch the way you do things now, especially now that you are a pastor. You are now born again. You know, all things are passed away and all things have become new. You are now a new creature, a new being. Please, for goodness sake, don't go back to your vomits. Please don't go back to the ways of the world. Please. Brother Toji, I understand your anxiety. It's the work of rumor mongers, and they can't get us. They're going to do everything possible to make sure that they don't split the membership of this church. <laughs> they are out to separate us and that won't work. Well, actually, I trust you. <laughs> I only came to confirm what you have just said. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you too. Ah, Brother David. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, God bless you. Um, there is a matter I need to discuss with you, sir. It has been bothering me for long. Is it that serious? Uh, well, uh, no matter how big a problem is, Christ is able to solve it. Thank you very much. You remember the incident that uh, occurred between you and I in my sister's place? I think you should ask for forgiveness and confess the sins before the congregation. A man that covereth his sins shall not prosper. That is what the Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 13. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you should. You should. I am referring to the affair you're having with my sister. A man who desires to be a bishop uh, must be blameless, vigilant, sober, uh, be of good behavior, uh, giving to authority, and uh, above all, must be a husband of one wife. That is what uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2 says. And what does the Bible say about a man who wants to be a teacher of bishops? I'll leave you to go and find that out from the Bible, the chapter and the verse, and come back here. Good day. Evangelist. Yes. My period has stopped to flow in the last two months. Meaning? Meaning I am pregnant. You are what? Pregnant! Shh. Do you realize the implication of what you are saying? How don't you know that I am a married man? Uh, look, if this is meant to be a joke, stop it. I don't like such jokes. Go look for your period elsewhere. I have nothing to do with this. You are not serious. You mean you don't know the outcome of what you took me into? And you know my husband has traveled out of the country. Would you expect me to pin the pregnancy? All right, let me think. Uh, uh brother Charles, sister. Did he hear anything? It's none of my business. You are better about this pregnancy. Do we meet at the normal time? 7 p.m. this night. I will make it. But the earlier, we get rid of this mess, the better for both of us. Sir, 
I am not making up stories. I heard all that was said. If that affair is a courage between two choir leaders, <laughs> we will end up having a rotten group of choir choristers. But music is a great source of ministration, not only on earth, but also in heaven. We should not allow those two to defile the work of God with um, fornication and adultery. Uh, um, brother, brother David, uh, I want you to just take it easy. Eh? Take it easy. Uh, we will wade into the matter as soon as uh, Pastor Ben comes back from the convention. Hey, but, we, we have to, you know. But must we wait that long? <sighs> brother David, do you want to be the witness? The prosecutor and the judge? Look, listen, we have to follow the due process. Now listen, you have made a very serious allegation and we have to investigate it thoroughly. And relax, uh -uh. relax, brother David. It is work, eh? Okay, sir. It is work. Relax. Thank you. Uh -huh. Pastor, Pastor. Ah, huh? Brother David, how are you? God bless you. Oh, Pastor, the church offering is supposed to be in the church safe. Where are you taking them to? Ah, uh -uh, Brother David, why are you so inquisitive? You've been working in this church for some time and you know, you understand things like this. Uh, uh, no, no, I have never seen a pastor take home the day's offering. They are always kept in the church safe. <laughs> Do you think those who give money to the church give it with good intentions? No. I have to take this money home for sanctification from demonic powers. Should a man of God believe that satanic powers could conquer him? Uh, look, Brother David, as a deliverance minister, I know the devil is very, very cunning. He can be trying all sorts of things. So I need to take this money home for proper cleansing. Proper cleansing. You talk as if you are of little faith. I don't believe in all these demonic powers. Once you are covered with the blood of Jesus, you are saved. Hmm? I see. Hmm. Brother David, general overseer in the making. Look, I'm taking this money home for sanctification. Good day. Hello, Sister Tola. How are you and the baby? We are all fine, man. <laughs> I haven't seen you for a while. You know, nursing a baby is not easy. It's very, very stressful. So that is why it's even difficult for me to even come to the church. Never mind. You get used to it. Okay? And now it's your husband. I hope he gets in touch with you regularly. Yes, ma, he does. Mm. Mind if I take you to where you're going? I appreciate the guest, Choma. I just want to see someone over there. Don't expose this boy to the cold weather, okay? <laughs> Thank you, ma. I'm okay. grateful, ma. Okay, bye-bye, okay, ma. Bye-bye. <laughs> Brother David, the elders of this church have met and we have decided to relieve you of your duties as a worker in this church. But sir... No, 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 Brother David. This is not an appeal court, okay? A decision has been taken and uh, you just have to respect that decision. You see, the congregation of this church is decreasing every day. 
because of your stupid attitude. Do you understand what I'm saying? And we all are tired of your harshness. After all, I mean, everybody has come to the church to seek their salvation. I am a victim of sowing the seed of immorality in this church. I caution those who by their actions had led people astray. Imagine Sister Gbemi stealing from the church offering. I cautioned her. I called Sister Bosse kissing another woman's husband in the church vestry. I want her to mend her ways. I later reported the matter to the church authority. I challenged Pastor Ben on his decision to take the offering home. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, the duties of the men of God are boldly spelled out. Verses 16 to 21 state that God has chosen us as watchmen over the congregation, as Ezekiel was over the people of Israel. If someone is doing evil and we fail to warn him so that his life is safe, God will hold us responsible after his death. If a sinner mends his ways and sin no more, he will receive eternal life and every other thing will be added unto, unto him. Enough of that, enough of that, brother David, enough of that nonsense. Enough of that. Uh -uh. Now, who, who, who has made you a judge over us? Uh -uh. What, what, what sort of rubbish is this? Didn't you find that in the Bible? Nonsense. I'm sure you are one of those that goes about scattering the fold. But why all these Bible references? I wonder. After all, we are all sinners. Sister Enyona, I know we are all sinners. But we cannot persist in sin and expect the glory of God to fall on us. We should not allow sin to dominate us. We must shun evil and live a righteous life. <laughs> Remember, Christ wants us to be perfect. Uh, look here, Brother David. I would advise that you first get rid of the log from your eye. And then perhaps you'll see well enough to, to, to deal with the, the speck in your friend's eye. David, you see, the way you go about your righteousness nauseates me. I feel so irritated. <laughs> Mr. Holier than the holiest. But is it that um, we are all. I mean, uh, I'm going to shut up. Look okay. here. You want to beat up the others? Do you want to beat us up? Huh? Look here. Enough of all these atrocities. Mr. Seal Hall. Here, Hall, no Hall, <laughs> Mr. Do Good. Look here, if that is what you do where you come from, let me tell you something. There's no room for such things here. You cannot do that here. Understand me? <laughs> well, I think I want to use my precious time wisely. Let me go straight to the point. You cease to be a worker from this church from this moment. Now, an ordinary man. That is it. I'll see you. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor. Mm. The truth shall prevail. Mm. Mr. Holy Adada, let's wait for the truth. explain why I got myself into this mess. <laughs> hmm. This is the result of the relationship and his father is denying the paternity of the baby. <laughs> hmm. I still don't know why I gave him for him. 
he must have put a spell on me. Otherwise, <laughs> God, please take control of my life. God, please take control of my life. <laughs> Someone must know about this. Someone must know about this. <laughs> Peace be unto you all. Oh, and unto you, Pastor. And unto you, Pastor. pastor. Uh, when elders walking this way, it's an evidence that the day is going to be rosy. So, what gold, silver, and bronze have you brought for me? Uh, well, if we had such ornaments, it should have been good. But what we have is very, very shameful. Uh, what's the problem? What we hear about our pastor. Ah, it's unpleasant. <sighs> Two girls brought complaints that our pastor put them in the family way. <sighs> As I was thinking of what to do, I got another bombshell that our pastor is the father of Tola's baby. Ah, <sighs> that is rather shameful. You must be out of your senses to believe such. It's a trash. Why did that useless dollar not point to me when you were asking for the father of the baby girl? Why did she not? Uh, oh well, this is a matter between the two of you. One thing I know is that a baby cannot have two fathers. I would advise that you go and sort it out yourself. And um, I also want to say that if Chola insists that our pastor is the father of a baby girl and the pastor says no, then we are left with no alternative than to go for the DNA test. Yes. At least that is the only way we can exonerate ourselves and the pastor yes. from this mess. Yes. Exactly. <coughs> it is so apparent that you have come to insult me in my house. And I won't take that trash from you. What sort of nonsense is this? If you don't have anything serious doing, I will advise that you look elsewhere to make yourselves more meaningful. Good day. <clears throat> Why is my wood tearing apart? Nothing would have happened without us. Yes, it was wonderful. <laughs> it was marvelous. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> it's the effigy. <laughs> it's the spiritual effigy. Let me have a look at that uh, envelope. <laughs> this is 200,000 naira. 200,000 naira? I tell you. This is good. <laughs> God is good. God has not started. I just pray that the anointing of God will be increase in proportion to the responsibility that God has placed on you. Amen. Amen. It's God's a fizzy, you know. <laughs> we are very few. We're not common. The likes of me, we're not so common in, the, in Christendom. So um, God has a way of blessing us. Yeah. Keep this for me. Okay. Let me take a rest for a while. Okay. You look so tired. Yes, I am. I'll join them at the Bible class. Okay. 
Let me quickly get me a cup of water. Ah. to kill Pastor Samuel. Wow. What exactly has he done to you? Can't you see? He has this towering height over everyone. He's too domineering. I must get him off the way. Ben, you are spiritually blind. You do not walk and live in the spirit. You are walking in the flesh. And that is why you have the urge to kill Pastor Samuel. Remember, son, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I'll advise you to live and walk in the spirit so that you will not fulfill the desires of your sinful nature. Baba, can't you understand? I have no option. I want to crush him. I want to kill him. Should I tell you what the sinful nature does? Yes. The works of the sinful nature is clear. It enjoys sexual immorality, impure acts, and wild living. In fact, it enjoys and does everything that is evil. Son, let me tell you those who enjoy such evil will not see the kingdom of God. Mm. Or rather, I'll advise you to live and walk in the spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is love, peace, joy, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control, against which there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have made their sinful nature to his cross. Therefore, if you must live in the Spirit, then make a match or match a step with the Spirit. Do not be proud. Do not make your neighbors angry and do not covet what belongs to others. Baba, I have no option. I want to kill him. I must crush him. I have a future, Baba. Son, to obey is better than sacrifice. Do not cut down the tree. Do not cut down the tree. Do not cut down the tree. Pastor Samuel. You, Jeffrey, you, so you could do this to me? God, I, I can't believe that this thing is happening to me. You, Jeffrey, my God. What is this thing, There is no way the boss wouldn't have known about all this. I tried to cover you up for five days with all sorts of excuses. And, and go, go, just take a look at what you are saying. Take a look at, in fact, do you know one thing? Just because I left the office just, just for two weeks, I could never believe this that you can do something like this to me. And you know what? Read my leaves. I assure you, I'm not going to take this slightly with you. Get out, idiot. You have to help me pray. I need divine prayer so that this my legs of two years of cancer will heal immediately. Pastor, you have to help me, please. 
Don't let me die like this. Uh, yes, uh, uh, God will heal you, but put it down first. Pastor, you have to help me. <sighs> you see, my brother, you have to unburden your soul to the Lord. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the only one sufficient for you. Pastor, I know, but... Uh, wait. Look, you see, whoever wants to do anything, if you want to get water out of stone, you have to work hard. We're going to start special prayers tonight from 12 midnight. 12 midnight? Yes. You know, that is when the satanic forces and the witches and wizards fly around. And they're not here. Uh, not in this office. Mm. Mm. Outside. So we're going to pray and destroy that realm. They are behind all those problems. Mm. I think um, what you need to do is... Um, a hundred thousand naira will do. One hundred thousand naira? Oh, yeah. Pastor, I don't have that much. You have to help me, please. Pastor, help me. Please help me consider <laughs> My brother, you must learn to see beyond your nose. Yes. Your brother just arrived from UK. Yes, yes. Go to him for assistance. I'm sure he'll be willing to do it. Maybe I will have to, to go and ask him for a loan or something. Very good. So you must you must act fast. Very fast. Okay? And um, if you don't do it fast, <laughs> that you that your leg, eh? Um, you may just have it amputated in future. Or... Pastor! It's sweet. God will handle everything, but just do what I told you. Hmm? Pastor, please help me. Please. Pastor, help me. Wait to it. The Lord is going to heal you. Let me pray for you. Um, most importantly, make sure you get that 100,000 there. I will try, Pastor. Fantastic, fantastic. Now let's pray. Jesus. Amen. Eternal Rock of Ages, Lord, remove this leg cancer by fire. Amen. 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 Pastor Ben! Pastor Ben! Kunde, is that not our pastor? Yes, Papa. He's our pastor. been sacked, fired, for no reason. I mean, for no cause. You just have to pray for me. You have to pray. You have to intercede on my behalf with prayers. You have to pray. Holy Ghost fire should strike all my enemies to death. I see. The Lord is going to grant your request. Amen. But you know what to do? Until you say something, Pastor. Very good. You're going to get two sheets of paper. Okay, Pastor. On one paper, write the name of your boss. On the other one, write the name of your enemy. Okay. Bring these two sheets with your pledge to the Lord and see what the Lord can do. Without your... In fact, I'm going to do that. And I will surprise the Lord myself. Pastor, I will do that immediately after the dinner.
Goddess, my mother, goddess of the sea, the most powerful one, I have brought Oluwatosin here for cleansing. She is possessed by evil spirits and I know you are the only one who can free her. Mother, please help me and accept my sacrifice. Sacrifice of seven food is not accepted. Ah, my son, leave the lady alone. Please, mother, I have boasted in church and I know you can do it for me. Please. My son, is there anything you ask me that I don't do for you? This lady is a strong girl. She has seven powerful spirits within her. Four of which dwell in down of the sea. I can only help you to cast out three. Because I don't want to make the queen goddess to be angry. There is nothing I can do. Huh. Please mother, I understand you. But I have boasted in church. Is there anything you cannot do? My son, you don't understand. She has a covenant with us. <laughs> that on the day of her wedding, she shall come to join us. Yes. She shall come to join us. And there is nothing I can do to that. Because the goddess must not be angry with me. I cannot help you. You may now leave. My friend, I don't want you to worship God. I Hello, my brother. How are you? Okay. Okay. Accident. I told you. He deserves to die. Oh, you have been recalled back to your office. That's a two in one miracle. The Lord has done it. He has not started yet. <laughs> no problem. Yes. You see, the more reason why you have to give to the Lord now. You have to give more to Him. He needs your offering. No problem. Oh, well, one of those things. You know, bad things happen to good people sometimes. If you are good, it doesn't mean that you receive what is good. Oh, yes. That's how God works. Yes. No problem. Congratulations. So we'll see you later. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you on Sunday. And your husband are whining and dining in sin. You have forsaken the living God to worship other gods. 
Remember what the first commandment says. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods but me. You are inviting the wrath of God. Forsaking the Lord? No, Baba. The message is not for me. I reject it in the name of Jesus. Baba, we are devoted Christians. We have converted many souls for Christ. <sighs> it is true. Many people worship God with their lips. Only with their lips. But their hearts are far away from God. Hellfire awaits all sin. And destruction awaits a disobedient child of God. Baba, what can we do to be saved? Baba, how can we enter the kingdom of God? Hmm. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. They trust in chariots and in horses because they are many, and in horsemen because they are strong. They look not unto the Holy One of Israel, nor seek the Lord. Isaiah 57 makes it clear that those who worship idols under every green tree, even those that pour drink offer onto the stone of the stream, are inviting the anger of God. Cecilia, you are guilty as I have said. You and your husband must turn away from your evil ways and be born again. Then you will be saved. Baba, Baba, please don't go. Baba, Baba, please don't go, Baba. Please, Baba, please go. That we worship idols under every green tree. Hmm. That remains a puzzle to me. <sighs> Pouring libation into streams. <sighs> Dear, I, I can't understand. I just can't understand. <laughs> Dear, there is nothing to worry about. It's just a dream. And dreams can be very funny sometimes. It's a dream. Don't worry yourself. Okay? Okay. Good. Offer sacrifice to stones under the river? Worshipping idols under the tree? Hmm. Hmm. God gave man dominion over the streams and the forests and all other things therein. To dominate or use those resources cannot go against God's wish. Ah, that's sure. <sighs>
Eh? Eh? Who? Who? My God. Who? Jesus. Eh, dear? Huh? Dear, where are you? Who are these people? My God. I'm here. Where? Where? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, what's going on? Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, what's going on? Something exploded and we can't see again. We my can't God. see again. Let me call the doctor. Ah, no, no, no. No, no. Don't call the doctor. Don't call the doctor. Call, call Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel? Call Pastor Samuel. What for? No, 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 no. We don't need him here. We don't need him here. Call Pastor Samuel. I have sinned against him. I need to make confession. Sin? I had to. I need to confess to him. I have sinned. Please, I need to be healed. He needs to forgive My me. Lord. Call, call him, please. Just obey. Just obey. Obey. Okay. 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 No problem. Oh my goodness. Call him. Call. I can't even remember his number. Ah, search. Number. Search your phone. Search. Okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, hello, Pastor Samuel. Yeah, who is this? It's me, Cecilia. Oh, ah, Sister Cecilia. The Lord bless you. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord is one. You know, I was just about coming to your house. How are you? Oh, hmm. this is an emergency. <gasps> Please, my husband needs to see you urgently. Please. Ah, please, we want you to come and meet us in the church. Oh, uh, but I don't know the way to your new church. Oh, we, we are in uh, uh, Blueberry Street, near the Testaco. We are called uh, Church of Miracle. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, expect me soon. Okay, I'll be expecting you, sir. All right. What happened? It's my husband and this man. Are you sick? Pastor, why are you lying down? <laughs> Sister Cecilia, who's <laughs> your husband? I don't you have know. come only for the elders' meeting. I, I don't know. I'm not sick, but I have sinned against God. I have sinned against God. <laughs> yes, please come in. Please come in. <laughs> Brother Suji. You're welcome. Is that Pastor Samuel? Is that Pastor Samuel? Ben. Ben. Pastor Samuel, where are you? Where are you? I'm here. Where are you? Ben. Pastor Samuel. I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. Forgive me. God is merciful. He forgives, particularly when we genuinely repent. He will forgive each and every one of us. Pastor, I have sinned against you. I need to confess. I need to tell you the atrocities I've committed against you, Pastor Samuel. Ben, go ahead, go ahead. This is the High Command of the Great Ramses, the rulers of the earth and the partakers of all the pleasures of this world. Now, why are you here? Oh, great one. I have brought my friend Pastor Ben as this cause for initiation. He wants his church filled up with a very large congregation. So, Pastor, you two want to be the partaker of the world, eh? Great one. I, I want to establish a church. And I want my church filled, as I said. But the present church I'm in, Pastor Samuel is our general overseer. He's too domineering, and I want to win his congregation over. That's simple. Whoever wants the meat of the elephant must be ruthless and uncompromising. Can you hear me? Yes, Great One. You have to kill someone and bury him or her right inside the church. We will then give you a bottle of anointing oil. That's going to be your anointing power. 
sprinkle some quantity at the entrances of the church. Then write down the names of the top members of Pastor Samuel's church on a piece of paper and sprinkle some oil on it. Now, they will not only join your church, but they bring other people too. Look here, we boast of what we are capable of doing. If after the third week, the church is not full to the extent that the old congregation is struggling for chairs to sit. Then, may the sun not rise again. Uh, uh, great one, I want to make one more request. Go ahead. If we can't do it, then nobody on earth can do it. I, I want to get Pastor Samuel off the way. I want him killed. Let's take it easy. You hear me? The snail climbs the tallest tree in the forest gently. You will get there if exercise some patience. Patience. Great one. We are now in the same fraternity. What is the essence of the power we have if you cannot use it to help one another? He wants Pastor Samuel dead. That is his wish. Mm. You have to give me time. Because Pastor Samuel is a very difficult target. The crystal ball says so. But notwithstanding, we have to do something. Thank you, Great One. <laughs> the Great One. My request is that I be made the permanent secretary in my ministry. To be sincere, there were four of us vying for this post. After the last visit I made to you, I used what you gave me. Suddenly, one of them tendered his letter of fair retirement. Surprisingly, another one has for voluntary transfer to another ministry. But the great one, my greatest fear right now is that I'm left with the most qualified and I'm afraid he's going to get the job. Man of little faith. From four, the number is reduced to two. Who tells you your remaining contender would now withdraw from the race before the end of time? Don't just stand there and stare at me. Go and get me the names of the man's parents. Dead or alive and their cognomen, Ricky. That's all we need. Thank you, the great one. May you endure. I shall do as directed. The great Ramses. The, the great, great Ramses. Ramses. The great Ramses. Pastor Bear, my shot. Pastor Bear, my shot. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How's everything? I'm fine. fine. Uh -uh. What's been happening? Uh, well, you no, know, Pastor Bear. What is your impression about the Freemasons? Oh, it's unbelievable. Look. The church is growing, can't you see? I told you so. You see, a man who does not know how his mate came about his wealth will only succeed in running himself to death. That's true, that's true. But um, there's a problem. What is that? You see, I want Pastor Samuel dead. Pastor Ben, <coughs> don't be shocked, don't be shocked. You see, I told Baba about it. Baba gave me some concussion. And I used it, but the man is still alive. He's still alive. You see, I, I, I don't know, but when I told Baba, he now said uh, I should be patient. Oh, you know one thing, Pastor Ben, you cannot worry the son thrice. You see? Uh, by the way, why do you want Pastor Samuel dead? Ah, see this ignoramus. Don't you know that as long as he stays in the church, he's going to be a threat to us. He's dominating us. 
I see. Look, I see. if I get him out of the way, yes, then we'll have the congregation to ourselves. And that means more money for us. Now oh, you are talking. Now <laughs> you are that. Now you are talking. Wait, wait. But now that Baba's coming will take some time, hey, what do we do before he comes? Well, in fact, there are, ser there are certain terrible things I've been hearing about him. He has been preaching bad against our church. The pastor Samuel? I tell you, oh. it's embarrassing. How can he be saying such a thing? So what I intend to do is that we'll get hired assassins to kill him. Good, good, good. good. All right, you see, I'll rush to the motor park right away and I'll tell Skido to get his boys ready for the job. Fantastic. That's very good. That's smart of you. <laughs> uh, God bless you. Oh. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> You see, guys, um, I don't want you to do the shooting at a point blank range. So that um, there won't be witnesses. I don't want people to suspect us. Okay? Do the job neatly. So, what do we do? Look, guys, there's no school debate, as you can see. We're here for a very, very serious business. What we need to do is kidnap him to a secluded place, kill him. I think that way nobody will be able to witness the killing. Yes. And there will not be clear. Exactly. That's what I want. In that case, we need this chemical spray to knock him out of his senses. Mm. Let me have it. That's mine. Oh, shallow brain. Uh, uh. Make sure you test that thing very well before you take it for an impression. That's nice. Ah, that's nice. Let me see. Ah, that's <laughs> cool. <laughs> see? <laughs> that works. <laughs> So it gets him off balance, eh? Ah, that's good. Uh, but, um, you see, uh, when. Uh, <coughs> what is that? Was that the spray or something? Uh, what have you added to this thing? Nothing. Well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> can it be that, um, can it be that chemical? Well, uh, no, no, uh, no, no, no. I'm feeling uncomfortable. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. I hope, I hope this pastor Samuel. <coughs> I hope this part of Samuel is not on <laughs> Wait, wait, where are you? I, I, I hope this part of Samuel is not... Please, <laughs> Please help me, I can't see. I'm blind. Benjamin, but why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Blessed be the name of the Lord. Ben, you my trusted friend, the one that I gave my all, I treated you like a brother. You ate at my table. I shared everything with you. You now took your heels up against me and you wanted to kill me. <laughs> Psalm 11 says it all. I was just coming to warn you to be careful. Help! Hey, somebody help me! the other elders. You rebelled against God. You left the church before it was time to leave. You were ungrateful. Just like the children of Israel who rebelled against God on their way to the promised land. God blessed you. He nourished each and every one of you. In spite of what he did for you, he prospered you. 
And instead of you to praise God, you refused. You were ungrateful unto him. You rebelled against him. And what does God say about children that rebel against him? Woe unto those that rebel against God. Because you led the flock astray. You polluted the word of God in the minds of the people. Pastor, Pastor. is there anything we can do? Please, Please. we are sorry. Please, is there anything we can do, please? Anything, Pastor. <laughs> please pray for me. <laughs> God is merciful. Pray for me. God is merciful. He doesn't desire the death of anyone, but that they repent. Father, you are a merciful God. Even when the children of Israel went astray, Lord, you punished them, but you gave them mercy. You are the only one that forgives. Lord, we use him as a point of contact for all those who have rebelled against your kingdom. Amen. Who have sought for other gods that cannot save. Amen. But Lord, have mercy and cleanse your church. Amen. Lord, we ask for your mercy. Amen. Amen. We ask for your mercy. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 